We utilize our devices for almost everything in today's digital environment. Our phones serve a wide range of functions in our daily lives, from communication to entertainment, from making grocery lists to communicating via text or phone and receiving directions. Few of us can get through an entire day without draining our device's batteries. If not, many of us are concerned about draining a battery to its critical point and being stranded, literally, if it fails. As a result, we always appear to be looking for a place to plug in and recharge. However, have you ever considered how much power your smartphone consumes? Based on cell phone usage statistics, we know the answer. The answer may surprise you, as the adage goes. Other cell phone power consumption compared. iPhone power consumption. There are two types of people in the world, those who use Apple products and those who do not. Which do you prefer, Macs or PCs? Is it better to use an iPhone, Android, or Windows? Both parties usually have strong beliefs about the advantages of utilizing each operating system and device. Many iPhone users believe that their devices are considerably superior to those of their competitors. Is this true when it comes to the power usage of an iPhone? Fans of the iPhone, apologies. In reality, all smartphones consume roughly the same amount of energy. The good news is that the amount is insignificant, only approximately 1 kilowatt hour each year. That's about the same amount of energy as lighting a 100 watt light bulb for 5 minutes. Electricity costs around 12 cents per kilowatt hour. When compared to the rest of the digital economy, your tablet consumes roughly 10 times that amount. However, this energy consumption is still just about a dollar per year. Your laptop might consume a hundred times as much, yet it's still less than $10 per year in terms of energy use. Now, in terms of how many watts a phone charger consumes, your phone charger consumes approximately 20 kilowatt hours of electricity. However, this is only true if the device is connected in. Over the course of a year, it would consume around 175 kilowatt hours if you left it plugged in all the time. This is around the same as $20 worth of electricity. You don't have to keep your charger plugged in all the time, of course. Refrigerators versus Cell phone power consumption Have you heard that your phone consumes enough energy to run two refrigerators? Don't worry about it. The truth is that the majority of this fact is garbage. This news item was created from cell phone usage statistics regarding the amount of energy required to send and retrieve data from the cloud. However, your cell phone isn't to blame for all of that energy. Instead, it's dispersed throughout the billions of cell phones that utilize data on a daily basis, and it shouldn't be factored into your own calculations. In one hour, how many watts does a phone consume? Your iPhone battery has a capacity of 1440 mAh, which translates to 5.45 watt hours. If you fully charged and recharged your phone every day, you'd have to feed it around 2000 watt hours, or 2 kilowatt hours, over the course of a year. What is the wattage of a phone? What happens if you forget to unplug yours all night? The average cell phone uses 3.68 watts from the outlet while charging and 2.24 watts when fully charged, according to Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory data. How much energy does a smartphone consume on a daily basis? According to a 2016 research on smartphone owners in the UK, three quarters of all adults own smartphones, putting the country's total at over 40 million. That's 600 megawatt hours of electricity per day to keep their iPhones running. Don't be concerned about your carbon footprint when using your smartphone. Simply remember to switch off the lights when you leave the room. We conducted a thorough examination of energy consumption. Based on physical device measurements of a smartphone we demonstrated how the device's many components contribute to overall power usage. We created an energy consumption model for several usage scenarios and demonstrated how they translate into overall energy consumption and battery life for a variety of usage patterns. We were able to undertake such a deep analysis and breakdown of the power usage of the OpenMoco Neo Freerunner smartphone due to its open nature. On a normal commercial gadget, this is not achievable to the same extent. We compared the detailed measures to a coarse-grained examination of more current phones and found that the results were similar. The ultimate goal of this research is to enable a systematic approach to improve mobile device power management.
We hope that by releasing this information, we will be able to encourage future study in our lab and elsewhere.